at, at this point, we all know that venetoclax plus azacitabine uh, is the standard of care for older, unfit, newly diagnosed AML patients. But in the context of the um, work that, that has been done on these patients, it has been recognized that patients with certain adverse disease features that would not be expected to do well with conventional treatments like chemotherapy uh, don't have worse outcomes in uh, uh, the venetoclax era, so in patients that are treated with venetoclax-based regimens. And uh, so we uh, started to think about why we are still exposing people who maybe can tolerate intensive chemotherapy, but whose disease biology would suggest that they'd be unlikely to respond to this, and why we continue to do this when there's another therapy that is potentially um, uh, uh, active and um, uh, available. And that was the impetus for this clinical trial uh, where we're looking at younger patients, so age 18 to 59, with newly diagnosed AML that may be perfectly good candidates for intensive chemotherapy, but have adverse disease biology that would make them uh, unlikely to respond to intensive chemotherapy. And so instead, we're giving them venetoclax plus azacitidine uh, with the intention of quickly taking them to transplant. Um, and uh, we have a, a small study that we are reporting so far. Um, and within this uh, small number of patients, uh, we did see the majority of patients achieve remission. The majority of patients go on to a transplant and the majority of patients to be doing quite well with this uh, sequence of therapy. So we're proposing that in the future, if we can prove that this is a viable strategy, patients with adverse disease biology, regardless of whether or not they're fit for intensive chemotherapy, may be better candidates for a venetoclax-based regimen followed by a transplant. And um, uh, we hope to give more uh, mature results at upcoming meetings. Um, and we are also planning to uh, expand the study into two additional academic centers in the United States in the coming months. Um, so we'll hopefully have some uh, more data to present on this soon.